So you know you're going to be in a situation where you're going to run into a deaf person. It's going to be shopping at home, at school, church, an event, whatever. In this video, we're going to give you a few sentences so you can begin the conversation, all right? So here's the first one. What's your name? All right, you're asking the deaf individual, hey, what's your name? Okay, ready? Here we go. Name. Name. You tap it twice. Name what? You know, a lot happened in that second sign. Name. Shoulders came up. Eyebrows furrowed, indicating a question. What? Name what? What's your name? All right, now let's reciprocate. Okay. I'm pointing to me. So me, my. Okay. I, name. Then you're going to finger spell that out. All right. You'll see some folks will sign my. All right. Here's the sentence. I'm pointing to myself. My name. Finger spell it. Or you'll see my name. And you're going to finger spell it. All right. Now, after that kind of introduction, it's going to be, hey, you know what? Happy to meet you. Happy. See that hand once, twice. This is happy. Okay. Happy to meet you. Now, for some of you who have signed before, you may want to sign happy to meet you. The sign to meet indicates I am meeting you. It doesn't require the you afterwards. So you might be happy, you might be thrilled, you might be excited, okay, to meet this person, all right? Happy, thrilled, excited, it's nice to meet you. That's kicked off the conversation. Now, let me introduce something that will likely happen if you've signed that first part correctly. They may start signing back to you and you're gonna say, whoa, 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 wait a minute. I know a little. You can go back and look at that other video on the channel about how to sign I know a little. One of the most commonly used signs for new interpreters. Hey, wait a minute. Okay, I know just a little bit. So you're asking them, hey, wait a minute, slow down. I'm doing the best I can. So let's move on with some more questions, all right? How about, where do you live? Live, you'll see two ways to sign live. L's or just live, okay? If you're not trying to use initials as we don't in ASL, right? Live, or perfectly okay, you'll see live. Live where? Where do you live, okay? From, let me show you a side view of this one, okay? X hand here, X here, from. It pulls back towards me, from. You saw that face again, right? From. Where are you from? Okay, from where? How about this one? Born where? Where were you born? So I'm trying to learn, okay, hey, live where? From where? Born where? Okay. Just trying to get a little information about the person. You're not going to use all those, obviously, but you see that flow of that sentence, all right? Where do you live? Where are you from? Where were you born? Now, you may have someone with you, all right? It may be mother, father, brother, sister, wife, husband. Let's teach you how to do that, all right? Hey, let me introduce... See the hands, and that's kind of curved. It's not flat. Kind of curved. Introduce from one side. So this person's on this side. I'm going to introduce them or introduce them, right, if they're standing next to me. All right. So, hey, let me introduce my wife. All right. Let me introduce my friend. Let me introduce my boss. Okay. There are lots of other videos we've got that will show you all the different titles and names, but that's the sign. Let me introduce. And then whoever that person is, if there's a title, okay? So let me introduce my wife, and then you're gonna fingerspell that name. Let me introduce my boss. You're gonna fingerspell that name. 
All right, so if you've got people with you, that's how you handle the introduction. So let's expand on those previous sentences because so much of your conversation may be around work. All right, so you might sign work where. All right, remember those previous ones? So work is like this, non-dominant hand, work, work. It is an A hand twice. Work where, again, Head's tilted, you saw the eyebrows, a little bit of shrug. Hey, where do you work? Okay, where do you work, all right? How about this one, okay? You get that one? Work, this is a sign for major, for discipline, for focus, right? When it comes to a college degree, a work, this is what's your area of specialty? There's a lot of words for that one sign, okay? Work, discipline, okay, major, what? Okay, what do you do for work, all right? What's your discipline, what's your area of focus? What do you do for work? So as you continue your introductions around work, let's teach you just a few work type signs, okay? Oh, I am a doctor. You'll see that two ways. D, some folks would like to initialize that, and again, I've said this before, when you're out signing with people, use the signs that they use. Don't criticize, don't come in and say, hey, you know what, you should be signing it this way, that's not gonna work and get you a lot of friends. All right, copy what's being used in your region. So I've seen doctor and doctor. Now while we're here, let's talk about the agent sign. Agent, okay, so, this sign is added to a noun to indicate the profession or the person. Let me give you some examples. To teach, teacher. Law, okay, towards me. I just showed you that. Lawyer, okay. This is to work on a car, okay. A mechanic, a mechanic. Now, there's a few signs that don't require agency. For example, firefighter, okay, doctor doesn't require it. It's optional with those. For right now, right, as you learn more about the professionals, see which ones get the agency sign added, which ones don't. But that's a few signs when it comes to work, all right, as far as your occupation goes. Okay, let's write two more questions, all right? How about this one? School, you. Okay, you should know this already, right? Do you go to school? School, you, the eyebrows, the question, the face, school, right? Do you go to school? How about this one? Um, married, you. Are you married? <laughs> you can see that these sentences are used in very different situations, but there we go. Do you go to school? Are you married? Now you should be able to think of lots of other questions that you might ask with those two simple things, okay? You and pointing, and what's the question you're trying to find out, all right? All right, let's move on to our next set. Okay, so in response to some of those questions, you might see, I am single, or I am single, all right? I've seen it be used both ways. Uh, how about this one? I am divorced. This is an older sign, D's, and splitting them up. The sign for marriage, divorced. I am divorced. A more common current sign, this is a sign for marriage, pull them apart. Okay, nope, I am divorced. Divorced, you'll see it either way. All right, divorced and divorced. All right, how about this one? Oh, my wife has passed away. Okay, I'm pointing here. Wife passed away. Okay, how about this one? Children have you? Okay, children. Do you have any children? Okay, here's kids. This is designed for children. Do you have children, all right? 
So to go along with, do you have any children? Children have how many? Children have how many? How many children do you have? All right, so now think about that sentence. What could you change? Oh, cats have how many? Dogs have how many? All right, you can see where you go with that, all right? Here's the thing, have and how many do you have? Now here's one hopefully you won't use too often. Old, oh, old, I'm asking how old are you? Okay, see the question here? How old are you? Right, I'd go easy on that one at an initial visit, all right? All right, let's move on to one last set. Okay, so you've come to the end of the conversation. Again, you might reaffirm, hey, it's been nice to meet you, right? Or you may say, hey, you know what? I've got to go, all right? I'm getting that person said, hey, you know what? I am leaving. I am leaving, I've got to go, all right? Or, hey, see you later. See you later. Okay, C, this is an L, and it rolls forward like that, later. See you later, all right? So we've got a few sentences in which you've had your introduction, a great little meeting with somebody who's deaf. Remember, all right, do your signs clearly and accurately. Take your time as you're getting to learn American Sign Language, and you'll be that much more proficient as a signer. Please subscribe, let your friends know. Right? If they're learning ASL, try the channel out and see if it doesn't help you on your ASL journey.